I know that's not the lyrics, but it's freaking Christmas Eve. You don't understand how much I love this holiday. I'm so excited. So workout is done, obviously. We're complete, we are sweaty. I gotta get cleaned up. I gotta get cute because it's just Christmas Eve and we're gonna do cutesy Christmas Eve things, whether that means make a nice little meal, go to the city in the meat of the city and just see like all the, the festivities. I, I don't know though, that might not last long because I bet there are a lot of people out. Uh, but happy Christmas Eve. Eve. I hope your day is just so wonderful. Mm. I hope it's just filled with Christmas magic. Okay, I have decided that I want to put in a solid effort to go through my makeup, like all of it, whether that's primer, foundation, bronze, whatever, and try to use different things every few days or whatever. So today I wanted to, and I want to keep up with it, tell you about it, and then I can look back and see what works and what doesn't. The Veil Primer from Hourglass is what we're going in with today. It's the mineral primer. It is oil free. So if you have oily skin, listen up, pay attention. And it does have SPF of 15 in it as well. I would be careful with this though because it has like a purple kind of cast to it every time I start filming. Now, now y'all want to talk. <laughs> No response for the longest time. See that purple cast? Wow, this might be why it sat. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna judge just yet. That was two squirts, so maybe I went in a little heavy. And I have not rubbed it in yet. I've done my skincare. Now it does have like, I can see how they call this, like a veil. It's a very soft, blurring veil. Like it does look like you've placed something smooth over your skin. Oh, and your skin's ever so soft. Oh, so smooth. Feels good. Oh, my skin is like soft as a little baby's behind. <laughs> we love it. And for concealer today, we're gonna go in with Prism Libre. You know what, Givenchy, we already know. This is the shade W110 and we're also gonna use the new foundation brush that I got the other day. The airbrush foundation brush from It Brushes. So this is more to conceal. And I'll go in with, you know what I'm gonna go in with to brighten? I already know, I already know. Quickie full coverage uh, concealer. And this one is in the shade 20NN. This is definitely more for brightening. And I like it because it does have like a really dense brush at the end of it so you can press things in. You know what, let's go ahead and utilize that. She blends really nicely. That's why I love, for complexion, a really solid, dense brush when it comes to cream contour, concealer, like just find a really good dense brush and it's gonna press everything, blend everything together. And then you can go over it with a beauty blender to get rid of any like stamp marks, if you will. And it'll make your application look Lawless. So right now I'm just pressing things in. And now let's top it with some foundation. I totally went all out of whack today, but out of order. We're gonna go in with this Instant Age Rewind. So this brush isn't as dense as I personally like a foundation brush to be, but it's definitely got enough density to blend very flawlessly. I just put some of this from NARS, the um, Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is a classic, <laughs> timeless piece of makeup here. Um, this one is in the shade Honey Light 3. I'm so sick of seeing that. Like, please 
Grace Hill. Jeez. As my lather and makeup. But still. Still. My feelings are valid. I'm gonna let that sit as I blend out everything else. Yeah, I'm gonna let that sit for a hot minute. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and do some bronzer and stuff, because oof. Cover, please. We all know the struggle that it was for me to get my hands on this thing. The Fat Oil um, Slick Click from NYX. This one is in the shade. It's called Clout. And I have to say, it was well worth the struggle. Like, one back forth swipe. And then press it against your, uh, well, as I, as I naturally just, you know, have to add more. But that much, you get this beautiful light like glaze of color and your lips are moisturized it's not sticky or goopy it's just like a really really good chapstick like this is perfect for throw it in your pocketbook you need a little moisture you don't need a mirror just throw it on and you are golden good to go like see that light color it's so pretty i need to get like more shades of this it's really pretty we love, we love. I feel like I look really tired today, but probably because I am. <laughs> today we're doing this brand, Martinelli's Sparkling Apple Cranberry, non-alcoholic. But it is grown with fresh apples and cranberry concentrate. Scrum diddly umptious in the champagne glass, of course. Looks delish. <gasps> oh my gosh. Thank you, Mark. Looks delicious. I'm gonna sip on that as I cut up rosemary and some thyme for the butter that I am infusing. Yummy. not as crisp as Welch's. It is good. I'm definitely just, I'm a Welch's girly. But cheers, this is, it's good. But I'm a Welch's girly. Cheers! Love a good Alani. Looks so good. Alright, Coco. Nobody likes this flavor. Nobody. The only empty aisle in Target right now. <laughs> Okay, so I need to do, well I put up a lot of the stuff that I got from Target, but maybe I'll show you a little something. I got some stocking stuffers for Mark, so gotta keep that on the DL. Um, but now we're about to go to like deep, like into Manhattan, like the middle, like Fifth Ave, all that stuff. And uh, I was trying on these Uggs, they were back ordered, and they just now came in. They came in yesterday, and they are the cutest shoes i got a size bigger than the normal which honestly i'm embarrassed but yeah that would be a size 11 shoe right there but it's because i like these long socks and these like thicker socks to wear with them and so like now there's room actually and they're more like cozy slip-ons instead of like you know what i mean you know what i'm trying to say anyways we've got this uh ypb from abercrombie this loose sweater, this is an extra large. I think they're on sale like right now as you're watching this. And that's, it was out of this, they were out of the large, so I got this one. It's loose fitting though, I like I like that cozy fit. 
Uh, these yoga pants are CSB or Crop Shop Boutique. Skims Lounge socks, of course, and then the new Uggs. They have different colors, but I really liked this um, light blue accent here. Gorgeous, like that color, the lightness of it instead of the chestnut. I went in between the two, but I'm obsessed. Now I should uh, probably get my other foot ready. <laughs> I need to have my hair trimmed so badly right now. Like, it's not even funny. Anyways, we're in my closet because this is where I put Mark's stocking stuffers. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I got him. Um, so he started doing, like, a pastry. He started making, like, a, I don't know. Anyway, he needs a place to store them. He needs something to store them in. So it won't fit in his stocking, but some Tupperware just to help him out a little bit. Um, I got him, you know what's so funny? He's always asking to, if I have any of those foot masks, like how you have the face mask and you can, it's like a foot mask, you put it on over your foot and you let it sit. So they have some for guys at Target. So I got this, um, Bandito Take Your Boots Off and it's a foot mask for guys. I only got him one because it was $10. Yeah, <laughs> moisture, leave these on for like, three hours because wow uh g2s he loves a good g2 pin the g2 38 millimeters he's obsessed so i got him these pins and then i got him an exfoliating back scrubber because his upper back it's like dry and just irritated so i think if we exfoliate it really good that'll help from target and then a couple of them are just kind of funny. So I got him a pack of dude wipes because, you know, we need to be clean. And then I got him a uh, face lotion because his uh, sometimes it gets a little dry. So, you know. And then there's this brand. It's called Manscaped. So I got him a uh, deodorant. <laughs> it's funny. He doesn't have any issues, you know, but it was just funny. Anyways, that's, that's all that's going in his stocking. Okay, I think I am ready for battle. Headphones, sweater. I'm gonna do a vest because it's supposed to be in the 40s all day. I don't think I need to bundle up too much. Got the uh, Uggs on, comfortable, ready to fight, ready to go. Christmas Eve in New York City. Let's, let's see what this is about. the chaos immense. Of course, we came to the Starbucks. I got a ginger snap, vintage ginger snap with spiced cold foam on top. It's delicious. Why not? It's Christmas Eve. Let's do it. home and holy I I can't 
explain to you how many people are in the city. Like, holy cow, that was bonkers doesn't do it justice. Like, I can't, it, it was so crazy. Like, you can't even move. And people are not the nicest. They're, I mean, obviously, anywhere you go, but during the holiday season, you think it. No, no, people are rude. Not to me, but just in general. You, you know what I mean. Anyways, we are home. I got a couple of things out there. Got um, a couple of pieces from a Saks Fifth. I got just a skim bodysuit. And uh, got Mark a bug on cats. You know, he's a cat dad. <laughs> And now I'm going to, I need to do some laundry. I've got Home Alone 2, Lost in New York playing as a background movie for tonight. Tis the season, Christmas Eve. And then I'm gonna start dinner. So I'm gonna get to folding laundry. I hope your, your Christmas day has gone so well. Prime rib, about to go in the oven. Dessert time, double hot chocolate. I'm literally so excited about this. Put it in my New York Subway Tile coffee cup that I got last year for Christmas. Super cute. top it with this it's hot cocoa whipped cream so I don't know it's probably gonna be too chocolatey I don't even know if it's gonna taste good but we'll give it a whirl it's Christmas Eve why not looks delish oh that looks so perfect yum actually really really good like it's so good it tastes like cocoa like not like fake stuff like it tastes like cocoa this is perfect for Christmas Eve Christmas to all and to all a good night. And then Navi says good night too and Merry Christmas. Right girl? Right.